Hey there, Leo. I hope you guys are doing well. This is the general energy read. Whatever comes out, comes out. It could be love, finance, uh, emotional growth, whatever it is. These are whatever comes out, comes out, okay? And um, if you're seeking a personal reading, all of that information is in the description box below. Please like this video. It does help my channel grow, and I appreciate it very much, okay? So, these are also channeled messages here, Leo. Show me energy for the sign of Leo, please. Leo. Leo. You have the magician coming out here, Leo. <clears throat> so are opportunities abound. Opportunities that are going to be taking you by surprise, but also things that I feel here, Leo, in a way. Um, the way that you go about creating this new change, this new manifestation in your life is very, very um, precise. It's one of diligence and it's also one of, um, it's like shrewd judgment, but I also want to say, let's, let's, <clears throat> how do I want to say that? Judgment, yes, but also Allow yourself to have fun in the process here because I feel, Leo, that there's an element where it's like we want to kind of micromanage something to pieces and this is not the thing to do that with. This is asking us to be a little bit more free. It's asking us to give ourselves creative license and it's asking for us to be emotionally in connection with it rather than just like trying to like micromanage. <clears throat> Show me more. It seems like you're ready, though, to move forward with something. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Here we've got the death card coming through here. Uh, Scorpio energy. Um, this can also talk about where, like, you're, you're... The change that you are creating in your life right now, um, Leo, is one that is significant due to growth. It's due to potential pain that you've dealt with potential hardship that you've been dealing with. Um, I feel here that your growth through this is going to be monumental in how you view things. This is also, I feel, going to be something that ends a certain level of financial distress or maybe like where you were having a lot of financial lack in some way. It's almost as if it's like starting to fill your pockets slowly. That's kind of the energy that I'm picking up here, Leo. There's growth with this. Yeah, and you've got the <laughs> you've got the world. You've got so far three major arcanas here. Um, yeah, this it's like you go from death to the world. This is full transformation. It's full change. It's full opportunity coming through to you. Um, and I feel that this is a very powerful position for you to be in here. Um, I feel that this is also something that you might not be telling everybody about right now, Leo. Um, that might be because we're concerned about, uh, how do I say that? Something that I learned a while ago was when we speak about something that isn't quite done yet, it's almost as if our brain sees it as done. And so it almost diminishes our actual action towards something. I don't want you to talk about, I guess, it, not that I don't, but it's like, it almost feels like you don't want to talk about this, whether because it's, it's, you don't want to like jinx it, you know, or, um, you don't want other people's advice and opinions. I feel like you have a very strong direction and how you want to move forward with this, Leo. And it's like, you want to make sure that this is yours. This is your situation. You don't want other people interfering in their, their opinions, their direction. Um, whatever this is, it feels like that you're keeping the communication quiet is something that is going to benefit you. Yeah, this leads to a lot of positivity, though, Leo. Yeah. Yeah. Eight of Pentacles here. Bottom of the deck, you have the Queen of Pentacles. This is about abundance. This is about healing the self. This is about your home, your finance, your creative, or creative too. But it's about your real practical world, your life existence, your home, your business. Some of you may be dealing with like a home business. 
Um, this is nose to the grindstone, perfecting your, your talents, your energy, what you put your energy towards, but also to you utilizing your growth and you're moving forward here with a very, very deep intention. Um, I also feel that you guys are very guided here. And so that also, huh, um, the pressure of other people's perception on how you are allowing yourself to be guided is something that you don't want to have to deal with here, Leo. You're allowing yourself to just be guided by the voices, guided by the emotions, guided by the feelings, rather than having other people interject. You, you're keeping a very, very clear boundary here for me is what I'm picking up here. But it suits you. It solidifies this. You have the six of pentacles coming through here. For those of you who are business owners or for those of you who are endeavoring in different um, business pursuits, this is asking you to be present because it's telling you that there's going to be an influx of um, uh, financial opportunities. This could be an influx in clientele that you're not seeing. It's going to be something that is you're, you're, you're being taken seriously here, Leo. Um, this could also be like supply and demand energy as well. Some of you, you may be dealing with a situation also where it's like your success. I don't know if it's problematic for somebody. I don't know if it's like jealousy or like they don't get to see you anymore. It might be an energy of like somebody not being able to see you anymore. Or, like the connection that you once had is no longer be able to like stay that way because your, your direction is here now. <sighs> oh, you the Ten of Swords here. It's like an ending to something that's been painful. This is asking for you to be strong, Leo. It's asking for you to be strong and be present here. Sometimes we have to, sometimes we have to shut doors. Sometimes we have to release things, especially when it comes to like situations in our life where it's like we've been not supported by other people. They don't see our value. They don't see our worth. They don't, they don't recognize the potential of our dreams. They don't see us as, as as growing individuals it's like a, they see us through a lens of stagnancy and i think here um leo you're putting an end to that and that's a that's it's almost like a sad energy that i'm feeling here i don't necessarily pick up this ten of swords as being so you know so painful but it's it's like a closing out of it's like a closing out of a situation where like now you can actually be functioning on all cylinders, especially when it comes to your emotions. Yeah. A lot of you guys have um, business in your future. There's, there's a lot of work, a lot of growth ahead of you. But it's yours. It's ripe for the picking. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now is what I'm hearing. Do it now. There's an importance of like, do it now. Claim it now. Because when you solidify it and you plant the seed now, it just grows and grows and grows and grows and grows. You're going to be connecting and communicating with people that are also present for this situation or very, very clear on how to go about this situation. Um, those are the communications that you want to be having right now. Those will be opening up for you. You have the Five of Pentacles, yeah, the King of Cups, and the Seven of Pentacles here. I feel that some of you are dealing with people that are having a hard time with the potential of your success. They're also having a difficult time seeing you in a successful light, which is really weird just because we want the best for our friends and family. We want the best for people, but here it's almost as if like you're going to be shaking some cages when it comes to how you switch yourself up from where you've been to where you're going. And that's going to be surprising to some people. Um, I do want to say, be mindful about how you engage with people when it comes to giving them your emotions. Um, be mindful about like, over giving, 
over giving, whether it's financially or emotionally, or if somebody's asking you for financial um, help, be careful that your emotional sweet side is not running the show. This is not meaning to be cold and harsh and mean, but it's asking for you to be very clear and be be very uh, decisive when it comes to how much you allow yourself to be used because you have a sweet heart, a kind heart, a loving emotional heart. Um, I feel here too, your message here is to be like, it's important for all of us to bring ourselves back to the forefront. It's important for all of us to work for what we want. It's not about handouts. And I feel here that you've come from a place Leo, where it's like, not to say that you've, you've gotten a lot of handouts in your life, but you know what it is like to not have. And you know what it's like to work for what you need and want. And it's almost as if now we have like this energy of <clears throat> people being present in our life, where it's like they're seeing you success, you're, they're seeing your success, and they're like wanting to detract from that, they're wanting from it, be careful about that. You, you're going to become very attractive to people, especially once your finances and things start to grow, your business starts to swell. Like that's going to be very attractive to people. Be careful about that. You have a loving heart, but don't get, don't get abused. You have the five of wands here with the high priestess. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, it feels like there's going to be conflict that is not present for you in your in your face. But it's almost as if like people biting for your energy, people biting for your time, people having like conflict over you. This is people you may have um, haters and and people that are protecting you. You know, it's like people that have your back. But it's almost as if like you have like conversations happening about you that you don't see that are happening in your life here. It's like a little bit of a struggle here. And it feels like it's about your finance. It's like what you're not seeing. But it's asking for you to not be affected by it. King of Pentacles here. That's Capricorn, um, Taurus, Virgo energy, Leo. But this energy is one of financial abundance. For whomever this reading is for, I feel like you are going to succeed and succeed and exceed the success that you thought was available. And the cap is no longer there. The glass ceiling is no longer there. You, sky's the limit. Sky's the limit, you know? Um, I feel here too that that is an energy where it's like sometimes we just have to kind of cut off from people. We have to intentionally not see them. That's a harsh way to say it. <sighs> um, what am I hearing? It's like the growth, the angle for growth here, the angle for growth is what's most important here. Huh. Yeah, King of Swords here. Yeah, you you guys are being very very kind of um Yeah, King of Cups, King of Swords, King of Pentacles here. This energy, I feel this is one of growth. Um Leo, I feel that this is one of um maturation within how you view and do things this is about your steadfast energy your dedication to your career but again this it's almost as if like we're really having to be very mindful about cutting people off and that's a really harsh way to say it but it's like cutting people off or it's like we know that they bring drama conflict we know that they might be even scheming behind our backs and it's asking for you to be uh okay with saying no that's how the stability happens. You say no. Wow. The Empress and the Page of Wands here. If you have children, it's about you and your kids. If it's, it's about you and your kids. If you don't have children, this is about you doing everything in your power to create what is best for you. 
It's like gaining a new community, gaining a new way of, of communicating with people. It's like your life changes here drastically, Leo. And I feel that it's something that you hold on to with all your might because it's like, I've been waiting for this my whole life and I've created this and here it comes. I don't feel that there's any like, um, what do I want to say? I feel like there's anything that's going to get in your way. I feel like your determination is something that's going to be so powerful that you surprise yourself. This isn't about becoming cold and like Ebenezer Scrooge. This is about protecting yourself, your money, your finance, your family, and the things that you hold closest to you that you see for yourself, that you create for yourself. That's what I have for you, Leo. I hope that this situation or this reading is helpful to you. A lot of abundance, a lot of growth, a lot of, of financial abundance here. Um, it's beautiful. It's, uh, it's scary beautiful. So um, because it's powerful. It's very powerful and potent. Um, yeah. I don't think you're stepping on anybody to get to the top. I think that you're just doing what you need to do and you may need to let people go or you may need to put people in their place. Okay. That's what I have for you, Leo. I hope that this was helpful. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Contact me if you want a personal reading and I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.